I, I have a question. I is your you. answer to all of this that women shouldn't work? Or that, you know, I should quit my job because, I mean, my dad's not paying my rent. Like, someone's got to do that. Attorney? So, Hello? Yeah, no. he, he, he raised me right. He, yeah. you know, he also said... <laughs> like, first of all, you said that this is, like, circumstantial, right? And there's also, like, broad swaths of data where, like, these are things that are going to happen to women. They're already happening. Like, when we're talking about making women equal to men in the marketplace, in the job marketplace, it sounds good. There are unintended consequences. One unintended consequence is, like, 50% of women are projected to be single in 2030. No, 45% of women from ages 25 to 44, right? So we, Because of their job? No, because of, like, because of being past the Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. and because of economic mobility, mm -hmm. right? That This is the unintended consequence of the boss babe culture. That's one aspect. And then we have this other aspect, 50.1% of women in the UK are childless by age 30. That's another statistic. So, like, we've made it to this point where, like, we've made ourselves completely equal to men. And it's like, that sounds really good in theory. But if you're going to be like a mom and have children, you're going to have to make compromises and structure your life differently. And a lot of women, like, they're not getting this. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying, like, you need to quit your job and you need to stay home, mm -hmm. right? But we need to, like, plan and act accordingly. And putting a career ahead of your man is not a good way to get there because he's probably going to need to cover you. Like, a lot of this gender equality stuff sounds really cool and, like, all this independence. A lot of women who say this have not reproduced. I have very much needed to depend on my husband in my pregnancy, first trimester, last trimester. Any woman who's had a child knows this, but we want to pretend like it doesn't exist. And I think that the reason why we have these like made up constructs, because you know, like everything's a social construct, is because we just are not seeing people get married and build families. No one is pretending like it doesn't exist, and no one said that they would put their job over their husband ever. Right. No one. No one said that. Okay. Like I feel like that's another thing that you're kind of just making up. Like I bet every. I think person you have super valid can, points. I understand what you're yeah. saying, but I feel like every person here would say, "Of course, I would choose my family and my husband over my job any day." And I think that your idea of this boss babe thing is like what you're making up in your head, but you're not considered a boss babe. You don't have a job. You don't. Right. You don't. I mean, I, I do. I, I do work, but that's like it's. Relative you know what I mean? Like, income. but I mean, like you don't have like a traditional job. Like, so I feel like you kind of can't really speak on it because you're not. in. I don't. I, I don't. Need I understand that you have a baby and you have a husband and you're in those shoes, but I don't think that like. OK, you're trying to speak on the boss babe thing, but you don't really um, fully get it. Like I'm giving you objective truths that I can prove. I also have them on my phone. I will give them to you immediately mm -hmm. after the show. Like, these are the consequences. I believe you. That's okay. Th these are the consequences of us putting careers ahead of men. Like, that's Who's the thing. Who's doing so, that? Well, a this lot, is, this lot, is why... Of, hold on, hold on. Like, women are putting careers ahead of men to the point that they would rather have that job than be with a man. Then that's you don't crazy. have to do that. Huh? Then you don't have to do that. Like, can you, can you explain... If you don't want to do that, then don't do that. If you don't, I don't think that the majority, if you don't want to put your job over your okay. husband, then don't do that. I mean, you don't even have a corporate job. You know what I mean? And I think that you're saying, well, women do that. Where? Who? When? Like, I, like this is, this is what I'm saying. My subjective experience does not influence the numbers that I'm giving you. This is like to the point, this is the breakdown of the nuclear family. And this was all because we're talking about like careers and men taking a second seat to careers, Right. This is the projection. Like, there are big banks and companies that are investing in, like, wine and cat food and stuff because they know that there's going to be a bunch of us that are single. Mm -hmm. Right? So, like, what you guys are saying, your career is important. Just don't forget that your man and your family should come before it. Okay. Well, thank, America, you. We'll thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for, for re, you know, reinstating that because mm -hmm. I, I believe that we all agree with you. And I think that that's why we're becoming disengaged is because we all agree with you. And it, there's just so much we can hear about it. We all agree okay. with you. I okay. Let me, let's, let's move it along a little bit. I'll just add a, a couple things here. So when it comes to the employer dynamic, so a lot of women are trading instead of being submissive to a husband, they're going to be submissive to an employer.